A big stressor during this time of year is of course buying gifts and with inflation causing sticker shock at the shops, it could really impact your Christmas wish list. NBC's Ann Thompson breaks down what you can expect to pay as you shop for the holiday. If the Grinch had a name this year, it would be inflation. I'm very hopeful that this is not the new normal. Kimmy and Matt Smith have a long Christmas list. At the top, their children, Kennedy and Easton. It's trying to find the best deal right now and trying to find the best price. To get the most out of this season of high prices, they started planning in the summer. I'll turn it this way. And agreed not to buy each other presents. I feel like every time we make a purchase, we put in so much more thought. Where are we getting our gas? Where are we getting our groceries? Inflation pressure that a new government report says is easing. In a world where inflation is rising at double digits in many major economies around the world, inflation is coming down in America. The decline in annual inflation, 7.1% in November, down from 7.7% in October, helped by a drop in gasoline prices. The average price for a gallon now down more than $1.70 since June. Overall, inflation slowed a bit, but housing costs continued to rise, up 7.1 percent, the biggest increase in more than four decades. Whoa, that's so cool. In suburban Chicago, the owners of the Smith's what? favorite toy shop notice a caution among consumers, feeling the inflation squeeze. Well, if my prices rise, their prices have to rise. I can't absorb that. It's just impossible. Right? You know, it's just kind of how it goes. Yet stores and consumers are determined to keep the holiday spirit despite this year's Grinch. Here we go. I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday of the entire year. Well, buying gifts is only one part of the holidays. There is also the parties, dinners, and of course the traveling, which can all make this season very stressful for some people.